hello, hello. It's Sandy with Serendipity's Closet, and today we are making our fun mesh candy cane wreath. So I wanted to do a few videos prior to me starting my chemo treatment, which is going to be through the holidays. So I am pre-recording a lot of my videos. Um, I am keeping my fingers crossed that I will still be able to bring you fun videos um, throughout the holiday season. I might choose to not show my face. I'm not real sure. It's not that I'm ashamed. It's just that I think it's going to be an adjustment period for myself, but I hope that I can be proud no matter what the situation is to share myself with all of you and make some fun creations. So to get started on this candy cane reading, this is the items that you're going to need to make your own. So here are the supplies you're going to need to make your candy cane mesh wreath. Now, I have been buying my mesh from Hobby Lobby. Um, I like it. There's, there's a lot more on the roll. Um, I would say they're about the same price because these are, let's see, 30 feet. And these are from Dollar Tree. And they are six yards. So... I mean, the difference, I'd say they're about the same price, to be honest with you. These are a dollar, these are three dollars, but you have to get them on sale because they are $5.99 otherwise. So you want to look for these on sale at Hobby Lobby. I don't know any other place, but you can clearly see there is a half inch difference. The ones from Hobby Lobby are a five and a half, but they don't make that much of a difference when you're making the curl wreath. So you can buy them from Dollar Tree, and I would suggest maybe getting about four. And if you're going to go with this route from Hobby Lobby, then I would say go with at least two, maybe three. It just depends on your fullness, because as I always tell you guys, you have to do your wreaths according to the way you want them, and not the way I like mine, because we all have a different taste. Okay, so you're also going to need a few bags of this, and again, Again, it just depends on how full you're going to make it. I would suggest getting three to four, four to be on the safe side. You're going to need your cane, our candy cane frame from Dollar Tree. They are just starting to come out. Now, for those of you that can't find them, they do have them online. You can order a case of them. And keep in mind that we just did our ovarian cancer ribbon that is on the YouTube channel. So you can use two of these to make your ribbon. You can save these for Valentine's Day. We're going to make some big hearts with these. So if you do order a case, they're going to go quickly. I think there's uh, maybe 24 in a case. So that's 12 wreaths, depending on what you're making. Making, um, or the candy cane wreaths if you're selling them. If you decide to order a case, remember, keep your receipt from the printing, um, you know, from online, take it to the store with you, and when you pick up your items, if you don't need them all, then just exchange the candy canes for something else in the store. So this way you're guaranteed to get them, okay? So you need one of the frames. Dollar Tree does sell pipe cleaners, but again, these are from Hobby Lobby. They were on sale. I don't remember how much they were, but I love them because they're a little bit thicker you get a variety of colors these were 50% off so I want to say they were maybe three dollars for the bag um, but it's up to you because Dollar Tree does sell pipe cleaners as well so I'm going to show you how to make your little spiral and I'm going to show you how I cut my mesh as well but as always with my different videos I have mine all ready to go and I also have a handful of my little coils already because I don't like to keep anybody waiting so let's just cut a few of these we're gonna roll these to show you the roll method and I have two started here so let me just tip this down a little bit so you guys can see the table okay and as I always tell you um, I have 6 12 18 and 24 cut on my table and I always double stack my mesh okay so I roll this over so that it hits the floor and then I put this one on top of it and I roll it to the floor and I'm sure some of you are proud of me because I got a new stand for my camera, so now I can tip it down to the table. And not only that, I have my treatment coming up, so I may be hiding my face from some of my videos because I start chemo for my breast cancer. And um, I don't know if I'm going to like having a bald head or not. I haven't crossed that bridge yet. And yes, I have a very good spirit about it because it is what it is. You just got to tackle it and go with it. So, okay, so we have our thing lined up here. And um, we're just going to cut it on the 6, the 12, and I'm going to go up to the 18 so that I'm not bending too far. And 
we're just going to cut that straight down. Now, some of you have been saying that you're having problems with the um, fraying on the sides. And as I explained, what I think it is is that your scissors are not sharp enough. Because you can see, I don't have much fraying on mine. And as far as them being really, really even, um, I don't worry too much about that because when you do the curl method, you're really not going to see it. And if I do have a little bit of fraying, I just cut it off, okay? So then what we're going to do is we're going to do it like we always do, and we are going to curl it, okay, and hold it in our hand. And it's always curled upright like this, okay? Then put it down on the table. And for this one, we're using three per bundle, Okay. So that's two, and let's do one more, and that's three. Okay, so you're gonna hold it real tight in the center, and with my pipe cleaners, I cut them into three. So here's the pipe cleaner, this is how big it would be, and all I do is, I'm a big estimator. I estimate on a lot of things. So just cut it into thirds, okay? So there's your pipe cleaner. So now that we have this gathered right here, we're just going to take our pipe cleaner we're gonna pull this up that's how I do it and then I do it like this so that it's up like this okay so we got that done we'll do one more and then we're gonna do our other tubing I'm gonna show you how I do that and then we're just gonna get started on our wreath so that you guys can start to make your own again don't get discouraged if you can't find what you're looking for but also keep in mind that you might want to go to Hobby Lobby or other craft stores because they have the double candy cane that you might want to do as well so I know a lot of you get frustrated and um, upset that you can't find what you're looking for but you can also order online at Amazon and eBay, and they have different materials you can use as well. Okay, so there's our other one. We did the two. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do these little curls, okay? Now, with these, if you were to take one of these, what you're going to notice is I just wanted a different texture. I didn't want them to both be the same. I wanted this to pop a little. But if you notice, they're about the same height. So when we do this, we're going to try to keep them all uniform so that when we put them on our cane, they're all going to be about flush and not all over the place. So I have one open here. And again, we're going to take our pipe cleaners, cut them into thirds, and with this one, I liked having the red with the red and the white with the white, but it's entirely up to you. Okay, so now we're going to take it and we're going to go like this about four times. And I know some of you are already wondering, well, how big is that? So we're going to measure it right now. So if we loop it, it comes to six inches, okay? So this to this is about six inches, okay? And we're going to cut it right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do it the same way. We're going to pinch it, and we're going to put this pipe cleaner right in here. We're going to pull it tight, and we're going to twist it. Okay? So now we have like this little flower. Okay, and we're going to do another one. And again, I just estimate. So once you figure out your hand how big six inches is, I know that it's just a little bit of an overlap two, three, four. Okay, now my fourth one I cut it. Okay, so let's see how good I am with as far as estimating it goes. And from there to there is six inches. I just have a good way of estimating and that's pretty much how I do all my crafts because I know some people want exact on things and I really can't, I mean I could measure every time I do it but it's harder for me to do it that way because I just guess on everything. Um, and it just works out for me. So there we have our another one, okay? So that's how you do those. And now let's get started on our wreath, okay? So what we're going to do is because I want this to be like a, a slant, like a candy cane, like a spiral, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the two center ones because I don't want it to be too fluffy because when I come around this way to the very top here, I'm worried that it's going to be too full and it's not going to look like a candy cane. So in that case, we're just going to go on the middle two. So if we counted one, two, three, four, we're going to use two and three and leave one and four blank. Okay? We're going to start at the bottom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, I think I'm going to do three. So I'm going to add two and then I'm going to add one above it. And then I'm going to start my red coil because I want it to be a little slanted. Okay, so let's get two on here. 
so we have one and it's going to be kind of floppy until you start getting your other ones on there so don't worry about that and then we'll put another one on and you know when you do mesh that it always kind of comes together you know what I mean like right now it looks kind of floppy but as you do it and you add more and more and more it's going to get fuller and fuller okay so let's add this on here and we'll see we might want to add more as we're going up so let's just check it out and see how it's going and what I'm going to do is since I have this one on the back and I want them to be kind of conjoined I'm going to twist the two of these together so I have my two little pipe cleaners and I'm just going to twist them together so that they don't have a tendency to go off on the, the sides okay because we can always puff out the mesh once it's completely done okay so there all you have to do is kind of puff it out all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to add another one okay and I don't want to go I don't want to start too much with um, you know like too many layers because then it's going to look too white and I want it to be uniform as I go up okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to add a red one next to our second white one and if some of you want to go up to like two layers and then do a red it's entirely up to you Okay, again, I always tell everybody, you know, sometimes people will comment, well, you could do it this way. Hey, you can do it however you want to do it. It's your wreath. But I don't think it's fair to tell anybody how they should do it. Do it your way, okay? I, I want everybody to do things their way. This is your creativity. This is your project. You do it however you want. If you want to put purple zigzags in there, I say go for it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add another one here. And we're just going to kind of double stack as we go and see how things turn out where we want that spiral zigzag to come in. And we'll figure it out as we go. So it's the same thing with you. Whenever you start a wreath, it never seems to be like, oh my gosh, am I doing the right thing? And then before you know it, you did and it looks great. Okay, so just keep going with it. Don't ever get discouraged and quit. Promise me that. Don't quit. Got to keep going. Okay, so we have those two. But again, I'm going to go up. And I'm going to go, see we have a little bit of a slant there, and this is going to overtake this. So we can add a few more of these, and we can decide how far we want to go up with these. So if I want to do another three on this side, so we have one now. So we're on our third one, and we're going up. And I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, let's see here. Let's decide. Let's decide right now. So we put on two and I added another one. Now if I add a white one right here, let's see if that's what we want to do. Okay, so if we do two and then one and then go up, or do we want to do three layers? So you got to kind of decide as you're going. So what I mean by layers is we put on the bottom two, we put on two. Then we put one here. Then we started our red and we put the red here and then we put a red and a red. Then we put a white. So you kind of have to do like two, one, one, two, one, one. You know what I mean? Like go up like a ladder as you're putting these on so that you know what I'm talking about. But you'll know more. I always say that it's better to do it than it is to just watch it. A lot of people watch and then they make up their mind that they can't do it. Just go for it. Don't um, give up so easily. Okay? So I almost think that I might kind of like that. And I think I'm going to keep... I, Oh boy, I'm having a hard time deciding myself. I think I am going to put a white. No, I'm going to put a red one there because you know why? No. I'm trying to decide. Um, let's see. That's what I'm saying. You kind of got to do what you want to do. No, I'm going to put two white ones. And that's what I'm going to do. I've already decided I'm going to do two white ones. Okay. So let's put two white ones. So you can see, like, when I'm doing different projects, they don't always come out identical either. I can do the exact same candy cane wreath um, and decide to do it completely different than I'm doing it now. I don't always work the same. I think that's what makes each handmade item unique because each one is made differently. And while some of them can all look uniform, they don't have to. Okay, so there we go. And I am going to... I think now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add more of the red. So we're just going to keep going as we go up. And always remember that since we're just twining these on, you guys can easily untwine them, move them around, add another one. Nothing's written in stone. Okay, so look. Now this one's kind of going up. So this one's going to go up this way. 
and we're going to try and see if we can get this to kind of spiral. Okay. And we're going to keep going. Now this project, I know everybody's going to want to see me keep going up and up. But do you see what I mean right now? How we started here, we're here. And now it's kind of going on that little bit of a slant that I was looking for. So what I'm going to do is I am going to add one more red one here. And then I'm going to do my white. So now I'm getting that diagonal look that I was looking for. And it kind of just happened on accident. Okay? So you kind of just got to go with things and do the best you can. And I just wanted to do these little loops inside here because I wanted it to add a little bit of touch. And then we can add little ornaments. You can add little balls to it. You can add a big ribbon to it. You can do whatever you want. And whatever you do, just have fun with it. Okay? So let's push this one down a little. So there we go. Do you see how I'm getting my little curl that I was looking for all the way? Okay, so let's add another white one. So we did three, but we're pushing this one down a little bit. We're going to add this one here. And then we're going to add two. And of course, I don't always keep you guys on video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up a few more. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you guys how I did this. And, okay, so look, we put one here. So here's our candy cane. We came up and now we're adding... We added one next to the red. Now we're going to add two white ones, and then we're going to go up again with the red. Okay? So I know some of you are probably having a hard time with the color coordination of it, but just remember, when we first started at the bottom, we did two, right in the center here. And then I added one. Then I added a red one, single next to the white one. From there, I did two red ones. And then just because of the way the ribbon is landing, it's giving me that diagonal look. So if you guys want to do two, two, one, then start a red, and then two, two, one, and start a red, you can do that, okay? So you just kind of got to go with it. And as you can see, I'm just kind of going with the flow. It's, it's kind of, I like the way it's looking. I wanted that candy cane spiral look to it, and I'm, I'm okay with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this down. Okay, and as we push them down, it's going to come more together. Okay, and then you can decide if you always wanted to, you could put another white one in here. So when we get to the very top, if we want to add another red one or another white one, we can do that. We don't have to um, just leave it the way it is. There's more than enough room to squeeze in between here and add another color or do whatever you want to do. Okay, so I'm going to keep going all the way up my candy cane and I will be back in one minute to show you guys what I've done and I'm going to show you where I might squeeze in a few of these white or even red curls. Okay, be right back. Okay, so we are back and the wreath is all done. Now, I used the two full rolls of this, which is the Hobby Lobby, and I did use like some scraps that I had just to fill in some odds and ends, but I also used three packages of the red. So as you can see, all we used were those center two right down the middle like I told you and look at how full it is so that's just a forewarning that if you go on the outside it is going to be super duper full so what I think I'm going to do is I think um, last year I bought a bunch of um, little jingle bells um, I think I'm going to put some jingle bells throughout my um, little candy cane wreath and you guys can do the same remember to put a little piece of ribbon or something on the back to hang it um, but that is how I chose to do the candy cane wreath you guys can come up with something fun um, if you want I just thought it was cute to have these little coils in here and again I could change things around but so far um, the only thing I might add is maybe one or two down here um, but it's entirely up to you it was pretty easy took me about 45 minutes tops to make the whole thing that is separate from cutting your mesh and getting your little bundles together to make your wreath so have fun making your own candy cane wreath and as I'm going to tell you in every single one of my videos please pre be proactive with your health um, get your mammograms don't be afraid of that lump. Get it taken care of. I don't care if it's the size of a little itty bitty pea. Take care of it right away. You don't want to be where I am right now um, battling something that I never even knew that I really had. 
um, because I didn't get my mammograms. So um, I have to promote this, and I'm sorry for some of you that may not want to keep hearing it over and over, but there might come a day that one of you sends me a message and says, I saved your life. So please be proactive. Be happy. Seize the moment. I wear keep Carpe Diem on my finger every single day. My mother wore this ring until the day she passed, and I have not taken it off either. So seize the day and make the most of it, and I love you guys. Be happy.